us now are Pearl and Debbie. Welcome. How are you guys? Hello. How Hi. are you? Thanks for having us. You're welcome. So did you meet at the stable? How did the two of you get together, you two horse lovers? <laughs> Horses. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was having a horse show. I believe we came out on a, a day that I had a horse show, and Pearl came out, and I met her that day. I was up in the judge's booth with the judge. Wow. <laughs> now, Pearl, you wanted me to meet your friend Debbie. Tell me a little bit about her and why you decided to celebrate her on the show today. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what is there not to tell? Uh, she's a wonderful person. She runs this wonderful stable. Stable. Stables, yeah. yes. <laughs> and she has, she's with the Pony Club. She uh, teaches young kids how to ride. You know, mm -hmm. um, we just had a horse show we went to just this Saturday. She's yeah. always holding horse shows for kids yeah. that is affordable. Mm -hmm. You know, um, she also helps out kids to get connected with the horses. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some of them, you know, they need to learn that, you know, they might be frustrated with their work at school or something and it helps get them close to something. Isn't that right, Deb? Yeah, it is. We have a lot of kids here that uh, have a hard time making friends or communicating. Uh, and they, they need to come out of their shell a little bit. They're a little bit um, shy is the word I would use. And uh, we put them to work with the horses and they all work as a team and everybody um, helps everybody out and it builds confidence, character. And uh, they they learn to be around other people and, and be comfortable, which is the biggest thing I want for the kids. It's just I need them to feel comfortable. And they do. They feel very comfortable. And I, I love watching them grow from when they were little tiny ones to now they're teenagers or off to college. And I, I love the fact that I have a hand in building that character with them and that confidence. It makes me feel really good to see that. <laughs> And uh, I, want to, I want that to be my life's work, is to just be able to give back as much as I can before I leave this planet. <laughs> and um, that's, that's what I want to do. I just want to take horses and kids and teaching, my three favorite things, and just do it all day long. A lot of people <laughs> do not realize that a horse's gait is very similar to the way a human walks. And a lot of times when people have been disabled or they've had a fall or uh, perhaps somebody like a veteran comes back from war and they have PTSD and they're learning how to be ambulatory again, that you put them on a horse, right? Yes, And that's absolutely. a therapy the in a way. The movement of the horse's back goes yes. from side to side, so it helps their hips move and it gives them a little bit more mobility without having to overstress their body. Um, I am one that is in need of that therapy because of uh, a major incident that happened a couple of years ago on my own horse. I'm currently under treatment for that, and um, I use my horses for that very reason for myself. So I can appreciate it as much as they do um, from the, the vets that come out and uh, anyone really that has a disability, from the little ones to the older ones. We have uh, an 80 year old lady out mm -hmm. here, same thing. A little bit more blitz in her hips, she comes out and rides. She's a little sore afterwards, but it really does help her. It really does yeah, help. so not just emotionally, but also physically. There's a, a beautiful yeah. connection between a human and a horse and the things that they can uh, glean from one another, right? And to both yes. of you, uh, Pearl, I know that you've had a great background too. Who's the first person that puts you on the back of a horse? That was my father. We <laughs> had the horses on the beach in Atlantic City. And um, I was one of those children that, you know, I loved animals and everything. And it's just tradition as a native. So I was on a horse before I could walk. And then he's like, uh-oh, because I wouldn't get off. <laughs> and that started the whole thing. It's, it's beautiful. And we've been good friends, uh, Pearl Running Deer, for such a long time. And I truly appreciate you. When I came down to visit you in Atlantic City, you were so gracious. You introduced me to everybody, all the dignitaries and the mayor and uh, the Miss America. And, you know, it was it was fabulous. And Debbie, I truly do look forward to meeting you. I'm supposed to be in Atlantic City on the 21st, actually. So Love maybe we can yes. uh, break bread when we're all together. Uh, but Absolutely. continue success to you. And Thank Pearl, you. I told you I wanted to do stories about horses and people, and here you are, right? Uh, I thank you right. for your, your long-term friendship with me and wish you guys continued success. Thank, thank you. you. I, I really appreciate your friendship as well, and I can honestly tell you if you're coming, I can let Deborah know, and I can pick you up and just drive you right out here, <laughs> and you can get up on a horse. 
And we're here! <laughs> Pearl and Debbie, they invited me here, and here we are. We're at Suffolk Stables, that's yeah. right. And I might even get to get on a horse, so stay tuned. Well, Deborah and Pearl, uh, where are we going? We're going into the indoor arena. This is where we hold part of our horse shows that we have. Okay. Most of the riding that gets done inside is your lead line classes, where it all begins. We also have the English classes, um, beginner rider, long stirrup, mini stirrup, western riding. We have ranch riding. We also have uh, miniature horse division in here as well. And this is where the adults come to ride. And they do the smaller jumps in this arena inside here. So here we are, we're in the middle of the stable, right? Mm -hmm. So what makes this inner circle ring work? Is it measured a certain way, like a basketball court is? So Does no, it have to be a certain actually, size? This was actually a barn for, it used to be called Indian Mill Stock Farm. Okay. It used to be a racehorse farm uh, where they would breed racehorses here. That would be across the way there is our stallion barn. We have the mare's barn, which is up further up at the property. And this used to be for the other uh, horses where we used to have a set of stalls that come down the middle here and a track around the outside so they could keep the horses fit. You can't go out on our racetrack because it's frozen, so they would ride them in here um, around the stalls area to keep them fit through the winter. Sometime today, you guys said that you're going to actually like put me on a horse. I am. It's yes. been a, it's been a while. It's yeah. been a while. So let's see if I can do it. Ride. My, my <laughs> Betsy is her name, but we ha that's her bar name is Betsy. They have two names. We have Betsy is her bar name, but her show name yes. is Betsy Knows More Than You Do. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> And, you know, I, I was joking, but it, in a way, it is very similar to miniature golf. <laughs> no, but it is, right? It really is. I guess there's it's an the obstacle, way it looks at it. Right, because there's an obstacle. You kind of do them in a certain order. The object is to get, like, the ball in, in the, the hole. hole. And the same thing is the object is to get the horse over the challenge. Yes. Very similar. Oh, I always say and you get girls, points, too. Yeah. So it's like, it's miniature golf. Yep. You have to keep the track because <laughs> she's cracking yeah, me yeah. up. This is great. <laughs> Okay. This is where our tack room is. Okay. We're going to be grabbing a uh, saddle and bridle girth and pads and everything for you to ride your horse. Here's your bridles behind you. You ready? Yeah. All right, there you go. You might want to get your saddle pad. So this was your first, she was your first horse, right? She was right? not my first horse, but she was the first horse I bought um, when I started Suffolk Stables. Nice. And when I first got her, she wasn't very well trained or she was running away with everybody that got on her. Right now she's, everybody wants to ride this one. She's so good. So I'm gonna bring her out, I'm gonna put her right here on the cross ties. We need four main things. Okay. So you're gonna need, first you're gonna need the hoof pick. All right. <laughs> then you're gonna need your curry comb. Now we use the soft rubber ones on her. She's a little bit tender with it when it comes to, um, being brushed very hard. So we use the rubber ones because she's sensitive. Um, and then we have your hard brush, which is not really hard, but there's your hard brush. And then you have your soft brush. So all four of these tools are what okay. you use to work with Betsy to get her cleaned up. Every time you groom, it's a head to toe experience. This is you checking the horse over to make sure that there's no cuts, uh, no injuries, no anything wrong with her. Maybe she lost a shoe. So we always start with the feet. So you ready to pick some feet? I'm ready to pick some feet. <laughs> Reach down there, pick up that hook. Here, this yeah. way. Okay. Here you go. Dig a little harder. Put some elbow grease in there. Come on, Miss Donna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is living it up. Let me tell you. All right. Start from the neck and you work your way back over her body. All right, so we're going to start with tacking up. This is called a saddle pad, and the saddle pad goes on the horse first. You just lay it over what's called the withers, which is the shoulder blade. Okay. You just pull it up a little, and then you swing it back a bit so it keeps the hair flat. So this is your saddle. Okay. And what you're going to do is place it on, and you kind of slide it back into place. 
This is her bridle. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide that over the over her head. This? Yeah. She won't mind. Good girl. Well done. And Would you like to come with me, Betsy? Out. Yeah. Thank you. Right so you're going to go swing your leg up, swing it over, and sit down. Beautiful. <laughs> You've done this before. Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm All ready. Right. Okay. And, and thank you, Pearl. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Betsy. Thank you, Deborah. Okay. Good job. She's a very good girl. She's one of our beginner best horses. This is amazing. <laughs> I, she listens really well. Yeah, so I just wanted to say, um, if you haven't done this before, it's wonderful, it's um, invigorating, and it makes your soul feel good. So we're here at Suffolk Stables today with my dear friend Pearl. Pearl Rennie Deer, thank you so much for inviting me to work with your friend Deborah. Deborah, yes, thank, thank you, you very Deborah. much. So Suffolk Stables, when you have good friends, it's fun to get out and do something enjoyable. I'm loving this. Thanks, guys. Go for another walk? Oh, yeah, we're going to go for a little more walk. Okay. <laughs> Got it? Mm -hmm. Step down. I did it. Betsy, thank you, <laughs> Betsy. Thank you. This was right. amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. Amazing.